So now you tell me about the culture shock that you may experience here. I mean, first of all, Indonesians are always late. late? <laughs> like you are the exception to the rule. <laughs> when I served them coffee, like mm. I saw one girl like recording me like this, you know, like trying to hide it. Uh. That I really don't like. The racist towards you. <laughs> Halo Sobat Deka, ketemu lagi dengan saya Menirnya The Karanganyar Sore ini kita akan ngobrol-ngobrol dengan uh, Ini gadis dari Swiss Namanya Elin, dia baru aja selesai uh, kerja di kafe Jadi langsung saya opera-opera untuk ngobrol di sini Dan dia entah bagaimana ini anak sangat suka tantangan ya biasanya kita ngobrol di kafe atau di taman ini minta di depan truk ini ya ini mah anak agak agak jelas ini so my name is Aline I'm from Bern um, Switzerland so uh, the capital the capital of it's Switzerland it's not Zurich it's Bern it's very oh, important oh really um, yeah I thought it's Basel ah, <laughs> even worse no it's Bern um, and I just finished high school wow uh, yes after many many years so young <laughs> yes I'm 20 20 20 and um, and yeah, you came so, here by yourself yeah. just graduated yeah. so bold yeah <laughs> people keep saying that but it doesn't feel that bold mm, yeah, yeah yeah and after this I will return and go to university in in Zurich in Zurich yes yeah and okay. I will study architecture how do you find this place and why you choose Indonesia I found it on Workaway the website right? yeah um, just looked nice had good reviews <laughs> and I like coffee so and I think they mentioned a lot about like, my name yeah, yeah <laughs> you already I mean, know my name before you yeah, came yeah, here yeah I did, I did, I did <laughs> jadi teman-teman kalau ingin tahu ya apa heran sih kenapa kok depan kita banyak banget bule datang ya jadi kita buka account di workaway jadi kita tawarkan teman-teman pengalaman untuk Uh, kerja magang ya jadi memang mereka datang nggak dibayar jadi buat yang bertanya-tanya berapa bayarannya mereka nggak dibayar jadi volunteer ya tapi mereka uh, kita ajak untuk belajar lebih jauh tentang kopi and because you are also a coffee lover yes in Swiss is quite common for a girl to love coffee yeah <laughs> because in Indonesia still dominated by men oh no in Switzerland it has no gender uh, so tell me good thing about Indonesia and not so good thing about Indonesia um The good thing is definitely the people. People. Everyone is really kind to me, or most people are really kind. To oh, me. Yeah. Of course, not everyone, but yeah, most people are really generous and mm. kind, and they smile a lot, which is nice. Um, yeah. Do definitely. you think they are the really kind or fascinated? Oh, both. <laughs> 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 kind of fascinated. Maybe they're so kind because they're fascinated. Oh uh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, but they're definitely really kind. Yeah. Especially your family. Uh, ah, okay. Thank you. Yes, I don't think. I, yeah, I know that not all country. That you can smile randomly. Yeah, no Switzerland. No. Yeah. no, but but my experience when I was in Switzerland, uh, in uh, in Brunnen, the village, yeah. people people were so friendly. They are friendly, but we don't smile at each other in the street or something. But they smile at me a lot. You're I mean, a tourist. Okay, <laughs> that's it. So almost yeah. pretty much the same. Kind of, but I don't think. Swiss people are fascinated by tourists anymore. But because I we are very intercultural. But I remember one one uh, man uh, driving car, and we walk uh, on pavement on the pavement, and he stopped like like slowing down the car and open the window just like, for me like so Japanese. Yeah, I mean, really? yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I've never been a tourist in Switzerland. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, Any other thing, uh, instead of the people. Um, you don't come here to meet the people like, just really met to beautiful people. country yeah. like the landscape the beaches the mountains it has a lot to offer and a lot of culture as well mm. like people still live with their culture which is quite unusual like in Europe we don't really live our culture as much mm. as you do in Indonesia like in Bali I told unless you Bali, unless right? you do that for the tourism purpose no we don't do it for tourism purpose either we just don't oh, really? do it a lot only in the mountains like uh, really like the traditional places but like in Bali where I was right they hold cultural yeah. events almost every week almost every week there's a Hindu celebration yeah because it's uh, uh, it uh, walk in the same place with their beliefs yeah yeah that's why they preserve this yeah so now you tell me about the culture shock that you may experience here 
I mean, first of all, Indonesians are always late. Late? <laughs> like, you are the exception to the rule. <laughs> no, but most Indonesians, they will say, oh, yeah, we'll be there in 10 minutes. You see, uh, one hour later, yeah. they will tell you I'm here in the evening. Maybe the next day they're here. Mm. Like, with time, time is different here but, than but in Switzerland. you just here one month, uh, <laughs> but you already noticed that. Uh, oh, yeah. Are we? Especially in Bali. <laughs> Especially in Bali. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Time here is different. You don't have the same like urgency as we do in Switzerland. If we say we meet at two in Switzerland and you're not there at two mm. ten or something, I'm already mad. But yeah, here yeah. in Switzerland, I don't expect people to like come on time. Yeah, but I think this is connected also with the background of the climate. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm not saying this is a good thing. We really. Uh, in this company, I always uh, tell people to be on time. Mm. I want this to make our custom, but mm. of course, you cannot deny the background of the. Yeah. Uh, yeah. For example, in in Europe, if you're not on time, you know the winter is coming. If you don't work hard, uh, that's yeah, that's definitely part of it. But we're also the country of watches, so. Ah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and now I remember this. Yeah. And so, where is my watch? I bought one in. You bought one. Yeah, yeah. You did. You should find now, it again. <laughs> No, you, you 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 ring the bell. Yeah. Actually, yeah. What kind of watch? Swatch or? Oh swatch. Yeah, swatch, swatch. Swatch. And also my. It stands my... for Swiss watch. Swatch. Uh, ah. Yeah. Oh really? Yeah. I only realized that when I was really old already, but okay. as watch, swatch. And no, and now I remember where is my Swiss knife. I will I, send you a new one. I will send you a new one. I always be so proud at the time. I will send you a new one. that everywhere. Yeah. Um, I'm kind of like a superstar here almost without like having done anything and yeah. that is really weird to me like people always take pictures of me and they mm. act like i'm a celebrity even though i'm just a random mm. tourist mm. right mm. but i i get taken in pictures every day all the time mm. i get somewhere and they start taking pictures for their website they just pose me put flowers in my hair give me coconuts tell me how to pose mm -hmm. it's really strange but how does it feel i mean it's totally bad feeling for you or there is also some mm. prideness maybe being treated as I'm a superstar not the picture type person i'm not that comfortable in front of a camera mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. so mm, for me it's not something that boosts my ego or anything okay. i'm just more like uncomfortable did you know that i saved you yesterday during our uh, visit in the uh, in the performance, our performance, so uh -huh. so everyone are taking picture together. Mm. Well, actually, they called me. That's why I I was there. Mm. Uh, some people start calling you like Miss Miss, but but I said she doesn't like to be taken picture. I didn't even notice that they called me. <laughs> I don't respond to Miss. I'm too young to be a Miss. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Yeah. No, I mean I don't mind it, but it's not something that. I like like to do yeah i know it brings joy to the people so i'm okay with it but in switzerland i rarely take pictures there's a lot of people that do it really politely yeah and they they like smile at me and ask picture picture mm -hmm. because their english maybe yeah, yeah, is yes, not yes. so good that they can ask oh can i have a picture with you please yeah yeah anything like that so they just ask picture with a smile and then it's really friendly but there's a lot of people just taking my picture without asking or even filming me in secret uh, secret like yeah like <laughs> yeah. when i served them coffee like mm. i saw one girl like recording me like this you know like trying to hide it uh, that i really don't like yes that is like um, i think that's quite a lot that here feels weird yeah yeah to just uh, be instead of asking in personal oh yeah like sometimes i don't feel like the best right now and in those moments i don't really want to take a mm. picture but they don't even ask they don't give me the possibility to say no i wouldn't say no probably yeah, but yeah. they don't even give me the possibility yeah. jadi jadi teman-teman kalau mau foto ya sama orang asing termasuk di sini kalau berkunjung uh, biasakan ya untuk tanya secara uh, sopan karena hampir 90% 95% mereka nggak akan nolak kok ya. tapi justru kalau kita diem-diem Uh, ambil video diam-diam itu ya apa ya ndeso lah itu ya jadi kita harus mulai uh, behave lebih baik ya karena kita dunia ini kan semakin terhubung ya semakin banyak uh, orang asing datang ke Indonesia ya saya sadar kita memang banyak dari kita yang mungkin terkagum ya karena nggak pernah ketemu tapi paling nggak jangan norak-norak banget lah jadi uh, tanya 
uh, ajak ngobrol dan jangan sepenuhnya memperlakukan mereka seperti objek gitu ya. I mean another thing we talked about is that whenever an Indonesian person is next to me, they never ask me for the picture, but they ask oh, the yeah, other person yeah, for yeah, yeah, permission. Yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You or Alfie or whoever is next to me, they will ask the other person if I want to take a picture with them or if I can take a picture with them. And then the But that's the lang- language the barrier and also mm. the less uh what I is mean it? many people experience the language barrier and they still manage to ask me. Mm. But that then feels like I'm a child or an object and that I cannot speak for myself. So, yeah, but I think they don't think as far as what you think. So Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I think I think everyone much uh must what is it? Uh menyesuaikan apa itu menyesuaikan ya? Uh Yeah, this is important to understand each other. I mean, your value and our value. I know that we, we must uh, be better, but of course, as a European, you must get used to the Asian because instead you won't really enjoy your traveling here. I try to not think about it too much, honestly. Yeah. But it is definitely a weird experience. <laughs> uh, Actually, a friend of mine, my best friend, she was in Indonesia too. Yeah. And she is mixed, so her mom is from Africa, her dad is Swiss. Yeah. Her mom is Cameroon, from Cameroon, yeah, so yeah, yeah. she's like darker. Yeah, darker. And her boyfriend is really light skinned and has blonde hair. And they travel together, and she said no one cared about her. Everyone just focused on him. Ah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> some friend of mine in Europe say that if you are too white, they don't consider as a cute, as pretty. In Europe? Yes. Oh, yeah. Kind of. I have a very, very white uh, Dutch friend, whiter than you, mm. and she said that this is not cute in, in Europe, she said that. Yeah, I mean, in Europe, if you are tan, that means that you can afford to go on vacation, and that you can afford to be in the sun, mm. so it's, it's probably about that. People like to be tanned, not really dark, but tanned. But on the in other way around in Indonesia, if you're white, it means that you are richer. Yeah. You don't work a you lot work on field, sun, yeah. yeah. So that's why the grass always be greener. Yeah. On the other side. So yeah, the same family in the ferry. The mom also always praised my white skin. Mm. She was like, "Oh, you have such pretty skin. You're so white. It's so pretty." And then she pointed out that her daughter's skin was much darker, and oh. she made that into a negative thing. So that made me like think about. How Asians like want to be white, but in that's general. that's bad for kids. Oh yeah, when they, I, I they were so they were taught the from the yeah from yeah, the really early the life kids. they were taught that the white is better. The lighter, the better is the lighter. Yeah. I I was pretty shocked honestly, but then I remembered all the beauty products that Indonesian women would buy to be white. But how did the kid cream. react? The daughter. Not ashamed, but like definitely like she she was. She didn't feel comfortable. Ah, okay. And she didn't like person. And the horrible thing that is said by like her that. mom. Yeah, that makes it worse. So the first worse. person that's supposed to yeah support you to, to boost you. her uh what is it? Ego. Yeah, yeah. Confidence. Yeah. Confidence. Yeah. confidence. Yeah. Yeah, I mean the daughter definitely felt bad, and I felt bad too because like, why would you put me like, praise me like that? Like, mm. Yeah, I mean she praised me and talked her daughter down mm. and I did nothing to be white. I was just born. So why would you praise me for that? Mm. <laughs> it's like it felt weird just the whole thing, but yeah, I mean in Thailand too, the whitening products, they're really popular and yeah. women try to be as white as possible, which is yeah, kind of racist towards you. <laughs> <laughs> Waduh, oh, yeah, benar juga ya kadang kita rasis sama bangsa kita sendiri ya. Uh... Because they make whiteness to be this glorious thing and being dark is bad thing and that's kind of yeah racist towards your own race yeah 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 ya yeah, kita sering ya di orang ngomong sebetulnya hal yang saya sebetulnya agak sedih juga ya misalnya mau menikah dengan orang luar ya dengan bangsa yang beda gitu kan untuk memperbaiki keturunan gitu kan itu kayaknya berarti kan kayak merendahkan bangsa kita sendiri ya yeah. ya yeah, I know that mixed marriage is I think is something good uh, mix per Mixed people are way cute. So intermarriage is something good, good uh, to exchange culture. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, but when you say that uh, you do that to fix your offspring, oh, yeah, yeah, no. it's kind of 
undermine your own nation. I yeah, think. definitely. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. I do agree, mixed babies are cute. But to be honest, I also raised with such kind of mindset by my environment. When I was in in high school, uh, if you are so dark, you will get bullied. Mm -hmm. So, but later when I can see the world uh, wider, I can see the beauty of every nation. Yeah, I can. I know some very beautiful African black woman. Yeah, so it's. It's not always connected with the skin, but also, no, yeah. Never. Um, yeah. I mean, it's kind of cliche, but true yeah, cliche. beauty comes from within. Like, if a person is really pretty, but for you, and then they open the mouth. But for you, it's easier because you're a woman. Because men <laughs> mostly is like a visual person, yeah. visual people. <laughs> but I mean, even the prettiest woman, if she, she is an unkind person, of course, you will of find course. her disgusting. Of course, yeah, of course. Ah, uh, hey, Bri, maybe the coffee is already cold now. I told you to serve in the beginning. <laughs> He's kind for making us coffee. <laughs> you know, he almost appeared in every of our episode. Smile then. <laughs> yeah, smile. It's your moment to shine. Enjoy. Thank you. So, okay, so you guess what kind of coffee is this? I think I can already tell by the color, no? I think I know from the smell. Arabica, right? No. No? No. Excelsa? No. That's not Robusta. No. This is Robusta. No way. Fermented Robusta. Okay, fermented. Fermented Robusta. It's not normal Robusta. <laughs> not normal Robusta. Uh, this is uh, jackfruit or? Guava. 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 Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's kind of sour. Sour, yeah. Mm. Good job, Abri. <laughs> <laughs> and so. Nice coffee. After this, uh, I think coffee is not enough. You can uh, deliver us more snack. Uh, the chocolate cheese, maybe? <laughs> no, no, thank you. <laughs> Jadi, Hell no. kalau buat orang Swiss, katanya coklat sama keju kalau dicampur itu haram. <laughs> That's a blasphemy. <laughs> no, don't do that. I will not eat it. No, but, but some of volunteers, they find this weird, but in the end, they yeah, like they're it. They're probably just too polite. No, 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 no. Mm. Because some of them, they order what it. What did Susan say? I'm not talking about Susan. This is mm, another. Mm. <laughs> but she's yeah. the most honest woman from. No, we had a Spanish girl. And she honestly liked it. She liked it. She, she ordered it for the second oh. time. Oh, no, no. As a Swiss, I would never. <laughs> no. That's a sin. That's a sin. No, <laughs> okay. no. Yeah. I will not eat that. Yeah, uh, because you are the country of cheese and chocolate. Yes. So it's like violating your pride. Yes. You cannot do it. Okay. And the Italian family didn't like it either. <laughs> <laughs> because Italians are quite... Oh yeah, Italian is even more conservative. With the coffee, with the, spa with the spaghetti, with the pasta. Not conservative, they have rules. Yeah. And they're right. Yeah, but we, here we serve Indonesian mm. visitors. The Indonesian visitors like it. Yeah. But us Europeans, we're like, <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Okay, jadi gitu, teman-teman, uh, obrolan kita sore ini bersama Elin dari Swiss. Uh, tadi kita banyak bahas tentang bagaimana uh, sikap kita kepada orang kulit putih atau orang-orang bule ya. Jadi semoga apa yang ada di video ini bisa membuka mata kita. Harapan saya ke depan kita semakin dewasa, semakin cerdas dalam berhubungan secara internasional. Kita akan banyak kedatangan tamu dari luar. Sekarang nggak cuma di Bali, di Jogja. Blitar pun sudah banyak, termasuk di perkebunan kita. Hmm, jadi saya harap kita bisa menunjukkan diri sebagai tuan rumah yang baik. Bukan hanya dalam hal sopannya. Kalau masalah ramah, kita emang salah satu yang top lah di dunia ya. Tapi masalah kesopanan, manner, bahkan untuk masalah ngajak foto, ayo kita behave lebih uh, dewasa lagi supaya nggak malu-maluin bangsamu sendiri. So thank you, Alin. Thank you for this podcast and also the time you here in the plantation. Thank you so much. Hopefully you will find joy in the next trip. Thank you. Bye bye. And... Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> What? Oh yeah. Cheers. <laughs> That was a bad cheers. We should do it again. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs>